In my last video, I was talking about this tree that broke down, and here it is. Here is a bunch of bunch of chaos in these woods here. Look at this! Boom! This tree fell down and took out that little tree there. One of the branches of this tree, the arms of this tree. Oh, there's my laptop I brought in case I need to look up scripture. Um, just plowed down that little tree, and then here's here's another tree that it creamed as it came down. This big, huge. Gigundus tree here. There's more trees down over there. My last video is talking about the chaos of our lives and how, you know, things will just kind of sometimes come out of, you know, it, you know, some part, some place that wasn't expected, you know, and and it'll be just, you know, create create a mess. Well, you know, sometimes in life we we seem to think that, you know, we just can't seem to do anything right. You know, everything. Isn't nothing's going our way, uh, but if we commit our way unto the Lord, as it says in Psalm 37, a voice that He'll bring it to pass. He'll he, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And I'm going to give you an example of something that occurred with me down in, but uh, New York City. But here's here's another verse that I ended my last video off with. It's in in James uh, 4 8. It says, draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Now, that's not speaking of salvation. Your salvation isn't a work. It's not something that we can accomplish through, you know, cleansing our hands. But we do, it says right here, trust in the Lord and do good, and so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Now I'm going to show you another verse from Psalm 37 here. You know, after I mentioned this little occurrence that happened in New York City, and I've already mentioned this over the course of a couple of videos that I've made here. But, um, you know, I, I mentioned the fact about running back and forth between the streets of, of New York City and uh, getting lost and all the rest with my daughter. And by the way, this is, this is quite the opposite life than... The, the chaos and mayhem of, of that town. So this is so peaceful. But but while I was there, you know, I was just spending so much time running back and forth up and down the streets. Uh, we got off. Uh, I'm not going to even begin to tell. If you want to see that, look at the, the videos that I did about the cab driver thing. And I'll kind of mention in my weary state that I was in some of the streets that we'd hop back and forth between. But the point of what I'm saying is with the cab driver guy once again. Of all the missteps that I thought I'd taken, and all the, the wrong direction that I'd gone, in so many points uh, with my with my uh, child there that we were wandering with, you know, that I was wandering with. Um, if uh, I mean God, God brought it around to where I met this guy in this cab who. I really believe that the Lord wanted me to meet with that fella. Because in all the different times that I have ridden in cabs in New York, I've never met somebody who's been quite so forthcoming and forth so direct and spoke to me like this guy did. Now, when you watch that video, you'll notice that, you know, I give him one verse. I felt after the fact like I'd, I was really kind of bummed that I didn't do as I believe we, off, we always should, you know, speak the word of God. Give him... The Romans Road, as it's called, Romans 3:23, Romans 6:23, Romans 5:8, John 3:16, uh, Romans 10:9 and 10. There's a video that I have called "How to Witness for Jesus Christ," where I where I mention all those those verses, and I should have done that. That certainly wouldn't have been wrong, but I, I was so tired. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know, you know, how we were going to get there. I, you know, I was so caught up in all the all the things that everybody's caught up in, you know how. How do we, uh, I mean, where are we going? All right, how are we going to get there? You know, how long is it going to take? How much is this, this cab ride going to cost? You know, all these things that are swirling through my head when really I should have just, I should have just spoken to him the word. Now, fortunately, I did give him God's word, and he has a copy of, of the Lord's uh, word in, in written form, God's word in the New Testament. So I give that to him, and he had a lot of questions, and he started asking me that. And that, that little encounter taught me so much about, like what I've mentioned also in other videos, the fact that there's so many things to consider, there's so many things to talk about, there's so many things to do, but yet there's only one point, there's only one way to heaven. But here's what, 
here's what I really wanted to point out in this video. If we keep our eyes on the Lord, keep our ways, okay, I'm mean, going to just mention verses that God brings me to mind. The peace of God that passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Come at thy way unto the Lord. Okay, I'm going to goofing up some verses here. I was thinking of just now Philippians when I said the peace of God that passeth all understanding. That's uh, Philippians 4, 7. But I was also thinking of Isaiah... Don't fail me now. <laughs> I can't think of the reference and it doesn't matter. But thou shalt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. I think that's Isaiah 38 2. Um, but thou shalt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. If we have the proper attitude before God and we want to do the right thing, God will direct our steps. So even though I thought I was goofing up and I thought in my own mind that I was a failure in finding my way around New York, God had planned, I really truly believe, for me to meet that one guy, that one cab driver. Have you ever watched the cash cab? You think about it, that, that Ben Bailey guy says, there are 13,000 cabs in New York City, but there's only one that pays cash. Well. There's only one that had Saheed, that fellow that I met, and I got a chance to meet with him. Now here's the other part of, uh, I can turn this around here, get a, get a shot of this here. I lost the page now. Okay, in, <laughs> oh for heaven's sake. Now heaven knows where I'm even pointing the camera here. I'm <laughs> I closed my, my Bible because I didn't want the wind to blow. Uh, page off so uh, I really didn't help myself out too much. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his way. If you're trying to do what's right before God, as we've already pointed out in the scripture that I've shown you in the other passage even from James, God will bring it to pass. So it also mentions there in Psalm 37. Now see, take my hand off and it's all blowing all over the place. Like there's a Walmart receipt there. Yeah. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. All right, I think you get the point. All right, so keep looking up. All right, thanks for watching.